It is a race against time to save the Florida grasshopper sparrow from extinction. Staff at the White Oak Conservation in Yulee estimate there are less than 100 of these birds in the world. First Coast News reporter Juliet Dreyer went out to the conservation today to see the front line of the fight to save the grasshopper sparrow. You might not expect much to be going on in this remote area of the White Oak Conservation, but just a few steps away, the effort is underway to save North America's most endangered bird. The song of the Florida grasshopper sparrow spreads through a quiet section of the White Oak Conservation. But it's a song in danger of going silent. In risk of extinction, basically. Andrew Schumann is part of the team working on captive breeding of the Florida grasshopper sparrow. The goal? Build up the population to ultimately release back into the wild. There's less than 40 singing males, I believe, in the world now. So if you assume equal sex ratio, less, less than 100 birds. The dwindling number, Schumann says, is attributed to the loss of their natural environment. The sparrows require specific conditions to begin with, open grassy areas that have been burned. Within a couple of years, they stop using it if it's not burned. And much of what was there to begin with has been converted to pasture or developed. But the conservation enclosures mimic the bird's ideal environment, right down to the insects placed inside for feeding. The fact that they're able to practice their hunting and foraging abilities in captivity uh, makes them better able to survive in the wild. The work is paying off. 20 Florida grasshopper sparrow chicks have hatched since spring. His color bands are orange-blue, so we've nicknamed him Gator. Each hatch brings new hope that the bird can not only survive, but one day thrive again out in the wild. I think that's a really positive thing and it, and it gives hope to, to all of us that uh, we, we will eventually be successful in recovering this species. In Yuli, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News.